Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Orgia Runner and welcome to Insomnus, a game by Path Games, who I believe are a group of students out in Brazil who are studying their game development, and this is what they came up with after doing many hours and possibly years of work in college. So I'm assuming it's their first attempt at a decent indie horror game, but I'm not sure if it's going to be decent or not. In fact, I've been pretty let down by indie horror games, well, at least free ones, in uh, recent years, months, days. Well, I haven't played any indie horrors in quite some time, so maybe I might get a few scares out of this. Maybe I mightn't. Who knows, it's still all up in the air. To be honest, uh, I'm very, really scared by indie horrors these days. So I'm going in here with a bit of pessimism, but yet I want to remain pessimist pessimistically optimistic. Alright, new game. Oh dear, that's not a good start when I can't start a new game. Let's try this again. New game. Did I break it? Oh. Never mind. For the best experience, use headphones and controller. Oh dear, I do not have a controller. Well, I do, but I'm using mouse and keyboard because it's slightly easier. I've been looking for you for a long time. Ah, oh, that is cute. Nobody can separate us. Not even the time. Right, I've no idea what that was about. I've no idea of the background of the story. I'm going into this blind. So, um... Yeah, I have no idea what this game is, is about, I have no idea where it's set. All I know is it's very dark in here and there is a drawer. Ooh, it's shiny. What do you have for me? Ooh, a key. And what do you bet that is going to be used on one of these doors? Okay, it wasn't used on that one. Um, what about this one? Ooh, yeah, yeah, I'm smart and whoa. Holy crap, that is daunting. And kind of spooky. But that, on the other hand, Billy from, uh, what's that movie? Deadly Silence. That is fucking creepy as hell, man. And what do we have here? A girl outstretched in the name of the Father and the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that is uh, pretty ominous and creepy. Maybe a sign of things to come. Okay, that door's locked. Not going through there today. Ooh. It's the uh, ballerina from the menu. To use the flashlight, press right click. Gotcha. Okay, so what do we have in here? A big old room with... Bodies. Disembodied bodies and disembodied feet and heads because uh, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know these things. Why is it? Why is that head here? Why are these feet here? Can I tickle them? No, didn't think so. Righty ho. We got a newspaper clipping or a newspaper. Can I pick it up? Disaster at orphanage. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I can barely make out that writing, it's so fine and sharp. Best not cut myself on it. A carbon dioxide leak has claimed its victims this evening at 11.39pm at the New England Hospice. Orf... What? Orphanage. Damn it, I hate it when games do this. Orphanage, uh, in the nearby town of Salem. Five adults and eight children have died. Ten under the ages. Wait, what? Ten of... Oi. Ten of the underages have been sent to hospital with serious respiratory problems. Again, we have Veterans Day and sales on 50% sales on fifty percent of all Patriot items. Oh, that's good. I like a good sale. Especially on Steam. Okay, I can't get whatever in there. Oh, and we have clocks here. Okay, not a clock. Oh, they're shiny. That means we have a bit of a puzzle Reno to solve. So um, I guess we have to set them to 9 or 9.39. 
Okay, we can't adjust the minute end, so I guess it's just the um, just the hour hand we can adjust. Okay, those two seem fine, and this one has to be just nine o'clock. Right, um, yeah, the hour hand doesn't move, it's just a minute hand. And it only moves in quarters. Okay, so there's no way I was getting it to 9.39. Okay, I'm not sure what that did, but I'm sure it did something. Why did it get so quiet? Oh god, I'm expecting death. Hello? Hello? Okay, fine, we're not dead yet. Nothing scary or spooky has come to chase us. So that is always a good sign. Ooh, we have another door. That I cannot go through. But not to fear, we have a wardrobe that I can open. Which may have... Ooh, another key. So this is a key collecting game. What do you, what do you want to bet that this key is for here? Okay, maybe not. There's another door down that way, but I want to go out this way first. Can I use it on this? No. What about this? Oh, wait, hold on. There's little etchings here of a cross. So I'm guessing I have to pick up cross-like objects that fit in there that will unlock said doors. Which will probably have more keys behind them. Okay, maybe I can use the key on this door. Nope, the key is still there in my inventory. Bottom right hand side, if you can't see. Or if you didn't notice. Okay, that is a pretty odd lighting to have. Who has purple lights? And what is this? Whatever it is. Looks like somebody had a painful accident on it. Or in it. Oh, and I have to get two film reels. Which I am assuming are in... These two said rooms. I'm just going out on a limb here. Okay, so maybe I can use this key on this door. No, I cannot. Wait, there was a drawer down here. Maybe I used the key on this drawer to get another key. Oh. Uh-oh, what the fuck is happening? Why did the music change? And what the actual F? Oh! It's a veggie ghost. Hey, old friend. What you doing up there? Not gonna do anything crazy now. Okay, just gotta approach you with caution. You know what? That looks amazingly realistic. you kind of scary. Okay, now what are you going to do? Are you going to scream in my face? Or do you want to make friends? Approaching you with caution. Okay, let's let's take this slowly, friendo. All right. I'm runner, and you are very rude. Oh, that's why you're trying to make friends with the bedgy ghost. Oh, and he's uh, gone now. And huh. Okay. Whatever. Rude. Ooh. Okay, and what do you bet that this last key I have opens this door? Ooh. What? What is with this crazy lighting, man? It's like I'm at the world's crappiest rave. Ah, okay. Right. I guess we have to collect more keys. Okay, can't open that door yet. Whoa! 
Yeah, I have no idea what you're mumbling about. Okay, so we got a badly decomposed skull here. And modern art on the right. Look at it. So stunning, brave, and beautiful. Ugh. If only Leonardo da Vinci was alive to see this monstrosity today. Okay, enough political commentary. Let's solve this mystery of whatever the mystery is. Ooh. Okay, another scary doorway, passageway, pathway, with more ominous lighting. Okay, you know what? One of my complaints in uh, for most indie games is that they're not well polished. I did not mean that in a literal sense. I was talking metaphorically. I mean, look, look at all this glass here. What is up with that? Why, what so, sort of paint were you using, man? Ooh, a cross. I'm going to need this. Is there any more crosses I can collect? Any of these collectibles? No? Can I go into any of these rooms? Somehow, I don't think so. All right, we're pretty much done here. Damn it, I can't run. So I guess we're not going to be chased by anything scary. What? Oh shit, I spoke too soon. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's our friend, the bedsheet ghost, back again. What are you going to do to me, man? You here to make friends? You here to apologize for being a jerk? Wow. Well. That was the least scariest thing I've ever seen in an indie horror game. Oh. Excuse you. Ex excuse you. You want to say that again? Nah. Damn coward. Okay, right. We got a cross. Which I need for one of the other rooms. Oh, I can go through here now. And well, I'm sure a swinging door is a metaphor for something, but what that metaphor is, I am not sure. Because I am not all that smart. Okay, we got another newspaper here. Missing girl. Police desperate to find missing girl. Eight who vanished on Easter Sunday. What the hell? I the writing is too small, I can't read that. I need a fucking magnifying glass. You know what I'm going to do? If you want to read it for yourselves, I'm just going to do a little zoom in editorial clip in Sony Vegas. Or, sorry, I don't have Sony Vegas. It's Vegas. It's Magic's Vegas. It's the uh, same thing. I got it on fucking uh, Humble Bundle there a while ago. Right, seven most contaminated fish you should avoid eating. Good thing I avoid eating fish because I think fish is disgusting. Okay, bye, Underwood. The first blue typewriter. The future is now Edward Hipster. <laughs> what a name, Ed Edward Hipster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's a pun or um, or a lame joke aimed at hipsters. Hipsters named Edward. Excuse me. Baking soda. Can I not get out here? Okay, fine. Guess we're not getting out until I figure out. The mystery of this story. Whatever the mystery is. I still don't get the story here. It seems to be going back and forth. An orphanage burning down. A girl going missing. I can't piece it together. Maybe it's not that obvious to me. But it might be obvious to some other people. Because for now it just seems like a bunch of mumbo jumbo. And we have a phone here. Zero, zero, zero. Um. Oh, we got a code combination going on here, so I guess I'm supposed to find some things or something that has code printed out on it. Okay. 
Well, a massacre took place here. Very, very ominous indeed. And again, my eyeballs are not lenses. Why the lens flare? Wait, hold on, hold on, I missed something. Call to 638352. Okay, the number highlight. Whoops, I did not mean to press that button. Right, the number 8 highlighted is part of the 8 digit code. So I'm guessing now I go up through all these floors and discover various pieces of paper that have the code printed on it. So the first number is 8. Oh, whoa, whoa. That is very loud. And, and again, what is with this TV and the, and the lens right here? Okay, call to 169352. Okay, fine. 1. That is the second digit. So it's A1. Wait, what's this? Oh, I think it's just the lens flare from the second TV. But you didn't do it right. Okay. A19. I suppose I could just guess the last number, but I'm afraid if I did, I might break the game because, you know, you might have to collect these things for the code to actually work. Whoa. Well, well, this is different. Um. You don't have to pick in picture on the back if you do, you know. Oh, here it is. A one nine seven. Is that it? A one nine seven. Have to try it. A one nine seven. That seems to be about right. Let's check it again. A one nine seven. A one nine seven. What's this? Yeah, it's definitely A one nine seven. I'm assuming that's the order it's going to be in. Okay, eight one. Damn, I can't see the second one. Nine seven. Whoops! No, 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 that wasn't it. Damn it. Eight. I can't see the feckin' pointer. Oh, there. Now I can. A one nine seven. What? Unless it's backwards. So seven nine. Eight one. Ah, oh, Jesus. One seven eight nine. Oh. Oh. oh let me guess and go to get another visit from my there ghost friend. No way, I'm daddy. <laughs> Ow. E ears. Ears, I'd like to keep them on me, thanks. Okay, so that was a whole bunch of nothing. What, I can't leave now? What are you trying to do, keep me against my will? Oh, we got another cross. Now can I leave? Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, I'm on the bottom floor. Okay, fine. Never mind. I got that totally wrong. Okay, so I can now open both of these doors. Okay, there's one cross, and here's another. There you go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go in here first. Yeah, screw you. I don't need the police levers. Or do I? More than likely, I probably do, but I'm just going to see what's what first. 
I'm pretty sure somebody could remix this in, into a decent song, like, um, uh, fucking what you call it, The Rude Sandstorm. <laughs> okay, enough joking around. Okay, so it's a lever pulling Citrino. That did absolutely nothing. Alright, here we go. Whoops. Okay, I did not follow the path properly, I guess. Oh, okay, I guess I have to be quick about it. Oh, what? Oh, f come on, what happened that time? God damn it. Oh. Jesus. Well, that was a weird puzzle. There seemed to be no logic to it. First, I thought it was something about um, being really fast and timing, but. I seem to be okay once I stick <clears throat> stuck directly on the footprints and the path that was laid out for me. No. Still, it's pretty weird. Okay, and what do we have going on here? Another puzzle. Picture puzzle this time. Okay, and, and I'm assuming I'm going to get a hint from this radio. All fame in the world colors the amber line. The people are envious, ambles and proud. Don't follow dreams after death. I was in a fearful life. What in the name of Hitler's mustache was that? I'm, I'm sorry man, I'm assuming English isn't your first language, but that made no sense to me. I mean, how is how are these pictures supposed to correlate to what you just said? Something to do with death and peaceful life? Okay, we've got a a very disheveled woman, skeletal woman there. So that's that, I think. Death again. I have no idea what that is. And he just looks like a scorned lover. Oh, so we have three pictures going on here. Okay, I see. Oh no, that is creepy. Oh. Okay, well, I figured it out eventually. Okay, so scorned lover, preachy pope dude. Vanity and the Grand Canal in Dublin. I don't know. None of this made sense to me whatsoever. Oh Jesus Christ, feel free to copy this puzzle for me, I don't care. I mean, because it made no sense in the first place. I only figured this out, or that out, by luck. Whatever tense I'm supposed to use at this stage, I don't care. He's a one film ro Oh, never mind reviewing them at the same time. What happened, Daddy? 
Okay, I think this is just looping over and over again. And as you see, my non-existent shadow doesn't get in the way, or my non-existent body. Physics. So all that is left is this mystery blowhole. I guess I gotta put one of my appendages in there. Okay, and seems the most reasonable appendage to put in there. Oh, Luke screaming. Very nice. Skip? What if I skip? Oh, alright, we can skip the credits. Alright, that was Insomnus. Um, I'll be honest, it wasn't that good. I, <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta be brutally honest here. Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't scary. The story was all over the place, and that's even if there was a story. If there was, I did not understand it. I mean, even from the newspaper clippings, it just seemed to be a whole bunch of mishmash of debt gore and even more debt and murder mystery. I, it didn't string together. It was all it was a, a fucking mishmash of I I don't know. Murder and death for the sake of murder and death, but murder and death do not make a good horror game, or do not a good horror game make, whichever way I'm supposed to say that. But visually, I suppose it was okay. I can't really complain about it, except the uh, glossy hallway. That was just weird. I don't know what the fuck was up with that. But anyway, guys, if you did like this video, be sure to comment, rate, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.